We started off with one text message. We had a delivery of food when restaurants were closing, saying we've got a pallet of food, would you like it? What can you do with it? I asked some friends, saying please can you help me make some meals? And within 24 hours, we had made 400 meals. And I was just like, okay, we can do something with this. On a weekly basis, the three main ways we help is that one, we provide food packages for individuals and families. We accept donations from the Felix Project um, and local individuals, and we cater to their dietary requirements. Second of all, we make homemade meals. And third, we support a local homeless charity called The Little Things, and we provide weekly um, outreach meals for them as well. So all of these dots are where all the recipients live across the whole borough of Enfield and blue means we deliver on a Tuesday and red means we deliver on a Thursday. So I've got Unica, Porsche. So the drivers come and collect the food parcels and then go off and will be given one or two addresses to go and deliver to. Um, with the food that we've packed um, at the church hall in Grange Park. My name's Lisa, I'm a volunteer driver for Coming Champions. I deliver to probably about eight people a week. Um, I've built up such lovely relationships with the people that I deliver to. I've met new babies, I've met family members. Um, one man I deliver to, I'm the only person he speaks to every week. So I help him with um, reading some letters from the council and the bank and things like that because his English isn't great. But um, it's so important for me to feel that we're doing something to help people who aren't as lucky as us and who shouldn't be in the situations that they're in just due to circumstance. You've just got these two. That might help. We really take great care in finding out about our recipients. We get to know how they're doing, especially during lockdown. We, it was a, a check-in for them. For a lot of these people, our volunteers were the only people they'd see during the week and those relationships have continued. Just in this borough alone, in Enfield, one in three children live in poverty. Food is obviously a physical need, but I think the connection, knowing that we're always there for them, is a huge um, help mentally as well, especially trying to relieve some of the financial strains that many of our recipients face. Thank you.